The Xenopus lavis, also known as the African clawed frog, is an amphibian native to parts of eastern, southern, and western Africa. This animal is an extraordinary partner in biomedical research due to its ability to produce eggs all year round and their many genetic similarities to humans, which makes them ideal models to study human diseases. I use Xenopus to understand the biology underlying autism spectrum disorder because in Xenopus we have a unique opportunity to make animals where just half of the brain, for example the right half of the brain, carries a mutation for an autism risk gene. So we can compare those mutant cells to cells that haven't been mutated to understand what these genes do during brain development. The Xenopus has been very valuable in studies related to autism, cancer, congenital heart defects, vertebrate development, and organogenesis, which is the study of the development of organs in humans. So in my lab we study spinal cord regeneration, and of course as people we're not very able to regenerate our spinal cords, although hundreds of thousands of people, even just in the United States, have spinal cord injuries. But tadpoles are able to repair almost any injury to their spinal cord really quickly, in just a matter of days. And then one thing that's super powerful about Xenopus that almost no other vertebrate system has is the ability to regenerate as a tadpole that's actually lost as they go through metamorphosis. So because they can regenerate as tadpoles but not as adults, we're able to compare the same tissue in a regenerative animal and a non-regenerative animal, um, and in that way find out what's critical for the ability to regenerate that's lost as they go through this metamorphic transition. These are just a few of the contributions the Xenopus labus has brought to learning and treating human diseases. The Xenopus is truly an amazing partner in biomedical research. You can learn more about the benefits of animal research in any of our educational brochures, which you can find on our website at fbresearch.org. Thanks for watching.